the hater. Bed. Love. Bed. Bed. Love. <laughs> beyond. beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. Bed. Love. Beyond. <laughs> Bed Love Beyond, the podcast for the hopeful and the hater in us to discuss sex, love, and whatever's clever with like-minded people like you who are also in limbo with love. Like us. Thank you for listening to us on Podbean, iTunes, Pocket Cast, Stitcher, and... Google Play Music. Yes, and I am Martini. I am Victoria. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to get rid of Jennifer, y'all. <laughs> she was wilding out. <laughs> I'm still Jen. Well, the Victoria sounds like a cool name. <laughs> I don't know. See how the week goes. <laughs> Anything can happen. Oh, boy. And uh, episode 54 is Am I Not Good Enough? So, um, yeah. This so, is like a sad, depressing, but needed episode. Yeah, I think so. This this is cool. Uh, I actually, Like, uh, I was, like, listening to, like, I was, like, thinking about it, and I was looking at the memes, and I was like, this is depressing, but I could, I'd be lying if I told you I never felt like that. Right. Yeah, and uh, while I was uh, making this uh, episode, I actually f- discovered uh, two aspects, because I was trying to do research for this episode, and I saw that there was, there was, there was really a... There was really uh, two aspects and one hidden aspect that um, uh, we'll definitely uh, cover uh, later in the episode. But one aspect was when the person makes you feel you're not worthy. And then the other one, which I found a surprising amount of, is that when you think you're not worthy of the person you're dating. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, like I never thought of it like that. Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Um, but but the thing is, but when I look back at it, I I thought that a lot of times uh but th- it seems reminiscent of uh like high school and, and, and sometimes stuff like i that. feel like stuff is like in your head mm-hmm. and like you know like i don't know like lately i guess like with my boyfriend who may or may not show up during this podcast um <laughs> not as a guest just like through the door um like i kind of feel like okay he lived with his ex-girlfriend at one point i'm glad that he lived with his mom back then so whatever um and that was many years ago. And, like, now, like, when we have the conversation about, like, progressing forward, like, it just seems like there's so much hesitation. And I know that it's not that, but there are times where I'm, like, am I not good enough for that? Like, are you afraid of something? Like, you don't, like, what is the point? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I kind of, like, feel like it's me. And I don't really know that it's me. I just put the blame on myself. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, if I have these feelings of like, oh my God, I need to be with him every day. I love being with him. Like, why doesn't he? Right. And that's the part that like hurts me. And he says like, it's not that. Of course it's not that. But then I'm just like, then why isn't it that? Like, if it's not that, like then, like I just feel like maybe like that. I, mean, I don't know if it's because I'm a female or because I'm a Pisces. Like, I just feel like that drives me more. Like that like want to like be with him a lot. And like, I just like feel like there's some kind of inact inadequacy with me but i know that's not necessarily true Mm -hmm. but like that's how it feels and it's just i know that's not really it but it's how it feels no no i i i I totally understand and uh i'll give you i'll give you uh, two things one that is really reminiscent of uh what would happen with me and my uh, ex-fiance where she would kind of not get mad but get upset that like i wouldn't miss her as much as she missed me because she really wanted to like spend time with me too, and it's not like I didn't, like I did, but you have to understand, like, if she's always like, oh, like, like, let's, like, let's see each other, and like she'll do it. How can I miss you as much as you are missing me when you're filling that quota? Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I can't miss you because you're here all the time. I know, but then it's like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Be like, no, I'm not seeing you. Like, I guess, like, I don't like playing those games. Like, if I no, wanna... no, 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 please don't play those games. Like, and like, she you know and she never I mean? did that like, too. Like, uh, I explained to her. She was like, you don't miss me. And like, sometimes I'm like, well, no, because like I see you. Like, right. so I I can't miss you. You know, and 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 but I know she wanted to hear that. Yes, I do miss you, honey. Or whatever. So just you say know? it. God damn it. Get... <laughs> I don't understand you guys. Because <laughs> it's fake. It's fake, and we're and we're, and we're uh, placating to your not needs, mm. but we're. Just... Oh God forbid. No, no, no. But but that makes no sense. Just to make you feel better off something that's illogical. Like no, like that doesn't make any sense. I have a feeling we're gonna be going back to the sentence. Later <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> no, no, but no. It, like, 
Well, there's one aspect. And the other one, I don't think I, I'm pretty sure again, I, I don't know your relationship at all, but I'm but I'm pretty sure it's not necessarily you that he doesn't like you want to move forward. It's the whole encompassing thing about moving forward. Like that's the thing. Like I'm sure it would have been the same with any new person. Right. You know, like it's just it's just a it's a I don't big know. Like at what point do you like, okay, this has been like a year now, so we good, yo. No, we're not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we're totally I know, not. But and then that's the thing. Like <laughs> past relationship have damaged people so much that like you then when you finally have something good, you're like, this is gonna sabotage it any minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but again, like you said, that's 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 your head working right. against you. And also a, a fun little tidbit that like you told me uh, a couple weeks ago is that the reason why you're bugging out so much is because. You usually ensnare people. <laughs> Ten- ensnare is such a devilish word. Yes, that's why I used it. <laughs> that's why I paused. I didn't do anything bad. No, 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 no you didn't. No, but like it's you, just my charm and you, booty. You, you. <laughs> <laughs> I said booty, not beauty. I'm not that conceited. <laughs> you, you usually when you do move in with somebody is you is you, it has usually been ten months at, at the most, right? Right. And that's what your relationship is cusping on right now right or it's past we're at 11 months okay like a week all right so it's counting (laughs) what's that timer back there (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so so for you it's like whoa i've just never been so excited about a relationship before like no but that's awesome that's that's great because like i'm like oh this might really work but then like when he gets like cold feet i'm like Fuck. No, no, that's, it's that's crash. but that's but that's that's normal. See, I, I I've been at the end of one for you, and the uh, what is it? Uh, Duration? No, no, no. The uh, what's the inward like combustible like combustible relationship? I was in the, I was a part of that one too. So it's so it's very interesting. Brooklyn? No, no, no. Um, Psycho boy. Yeah, yeah. That's not a relationship. I wish people would stop staying. <laughs> it was because I was there at the courtroom <laughs> where, where you had to say that it was actually a relationship. So you were under oath. Lies. Miss. <laughs> um, no, but like, I'm. It's very what pleasing to me. <laughs> stop it. It was. It was. It's very pleasing for me to hear that you're so excited mm-hmm. about being in a relationship because I've seen the last two. And they were shit, you know. So yeah. like, I'm, I'm glad that you're like, oh, you're Good so excited. Podcast material, though. <laughs> no, it, it is. <clears throat> and I'm, I see your like, your eagerness. Yeah, your eagerness and your fever. You're like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's do this. And and like, it's it's fun, it's cute, I love it. But also, you have to understand, like, just because, I mean, yeah, sure, he might have cold feet, or you're just too eager for it. Because like I said before, um. Uh, you know, you you usually uh, move in with somebody within like ten months, and it's mm-hmm. been eleven. So you're like, whoa, like this is way too. What's going on? You know right. what I'm saying? So you're like, you know, like, red flag this, red flag that. You know, like you're always doing that, and, and it's not it's not the case. Like I, I feel that you you shouldn't rush rush this if you believe that this is like, you know, it. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, granted, I'll wait. He, he shouldn't drag his feet either but it's still i still feel it's very uh premature even though you guys my good friend jagged edge once said we <laughs> don't look at me like that <laughs> no because there, there was one song that popped in my head so <laughs> from jagged edge so. we ain't getting no younger we uh, might as well do that oh uh, yeah exactly <laughs> let's get married <laughs> Yo, that remix <laughs> hot <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> <laughs> no but i'm just saying even though you guys are established and you can theoretically uh move forward that doesn't mean that you should great well when it happens i'll let you guys know so at this point i'm just gonna pout like a little bitch about it <laughs> <laughs> which i do on the regular i don't have to stop no, i'm just saying like like trust me this this is all good but i do a, like the it building make, blocks it makes me are very feel good like like why not me you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and like I forgot who I was talking to. It made my niece. Um, we we're talking about like at, like her ex, like maybe moving on or something. You know, and it's just like you always like wonder like will your ex ever find anyone better than you or will they ever make a relationship work with somebody? 
None of mine have, so I'm not really too worried about it. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> I mean, you did, but I mean, that's beside the point. Wait, like, what? I just completely <laughs> missed that whole thing. <laughs> just let it go. No, no, no. <laughs> run it back, run it back. Re rewind, re rewind. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I said none of my exes have like successfully had like a long term relationship, and then I was like, "Well, you have." I was like, "But that's oh, oh, oh like, okay, okay, okay." But no one <laughs> else has like been in a long term relationship where I was like, "Oh man, oh yeah." Well, my first ex got married. She mm. was a lesbian, so whatever. Let's keep it going. She was. She is. She was. The one that I know. Yeah. The one that I went to school with. Yeah. The f- okay. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere in her MySpace, there's pictures of her like touching tongues with a girl. Before or after the Before. marriage? Okay, so she could be bi. <sighs> Just like our good friend, uh, Bridget. <laughs> Shout out to Bridget. Shout out to Bridget, Bridget. Maybe Bridget knows the girl. Who knows? <laughs> Regardless. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, none of them have like really been in like long-term relationships or done anything like wonderful. So... So I know that I like if I could sit there and I say like oh you know like if they were to find somebody else yeah and had a successful relationship you sit there and you think to yourself like was I not good enough to like make it work with this person because even okay. though you don't think neg- you do think negatively of the person yeah. after the breakup mm-hmm. there's a part of you that like remembers like all the good stuff like if Brooklyn were to have a successful relationship with someone possibly again his ex girlfriend who mm-hmm. knows um we don't have those rumors on that yet right but like if you were like i would probably feel a li- well no i wouldn't because i know it's him <laughs> like, <laughs> i've already that changed <laughs> i remember that i saw him um yeah like but like i think back then i would have definitely felt like oh fuck was it me like did right. i do something wrong was i too much of this or too much of that right like did i was i not enough of something yeah you know did i not play the cool girlfriend role quote unquote whoever quotes that's dumb and like like just like oh yeah run the streets with your bitches i'll be here when you get home don't worry right go fuck my friends have a great time (laughs) right that's just ignorant but like yeah i mean i would have thought that like um like it was me instead of him yeah yeah, yeah. like oh my god like somebody tamed the beast right taming of the shrew right it's a very good book it's a very good movie too 10 things i hate about you oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah so like it's just a natural feeling but like some of the things that like i read in the memes were just so depressing it was like i'm sorry i wasn't good enough please believe me i tried i'm like yo yeah there, there was there was a it was Don't funny i guess i guess i guess, yourself, I'm, I, guess I might have to read it now because there was one article that i, I was just gonna save for the website because it was like it was really depressing i don't mean i'm not gonna read the whole thing obviously but i was like i guess i have to now now that you're bringing it up i was like wow this is this is deep i don't want anyone to ever feel like that right like that's just like i need you to be positive about what's happening Mm -hmm. like i wasn't good enough for you i'm good enough for somebody else go fuck yourself (laughs) right (laughs) <laughs> quote unquote Jenny B <laughs> <laughs> quote unquote Jenny B that's funny <laughs> like seriously like I don't know I don't I know I've felt that before you know and, and like like momentarily and then I was like this motherfucker ain't never gonna get anybody as good as me like not even in a conceited way but like you have to know that there's good qualities about yourself that not everybody possesses right and those qualities are hard to find. And even though there may be days where you have bad days and you're like a little extra, like we all are, um, God knows I am. <laughs> um, my boyfriend will tell you. That like, you know, at the core of it all, you're good. And not everybody is. Like how many times you hear somebody like with these like trifling ass stories like, oh, I found her with some other dude or she was like this and that or he was this and that. Like he was just you know picking up bitches numbers in his pockets and i'm just like i was thinking about that the other day there's no more like finding people's phone numbers in anyone's pockets like oh no it's all like in their phone oh yeah it's not like whose number is this yeah 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 like like, while the chick's doing the laundry or whatever and like taking out the pocket like what the hell my old roommate when i lived in newark she said that she found the condom in her boyfriend's pocket and obviously they were not using condoms so it was not hers oh i was like that's disgusting one and (laughs) two we should kick him out (laughs) but she kept him Uh, but you know but probably she sat there and felt like i'm not good enough yeah 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 because that's what you think like if i'm if you're going someplace else for something yeah then what was wrong with me Mm -hmm. and i get the feeling i just think that like you have to think like what's wrong with them that like one one person is not good enough for them or 
to figure out the one person isn't good enough. You know? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. What do you want to talk about, Martini? <laughs> I'm mic dropping this. <laughs> I know. That was like a good 15-minute rant. That sorry. was awesome. No, what do you mean sorry? <laughs> no, this is your show, too. You can go. You, I was... I was you still, were like staring. You're like, yes, tell me more. Nah, yeah. I was still amped up. I was like, go ahead, girl. Like, let them know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was like, we ain't, we ain't going to do the Daily Dish. <laughs> like, we're just going to keep going. Oh, that was the Daily Dish. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, oh, but, 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 well, not first. For, since well, we already, for, since we already started. Um, uh, no, well, Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Feliz. What is it? Años. Yeah. Yeah, Feliz. Yeah, yeah Feliz, Feliz Años. I don't know, sorry. That's I birthday. Can, I completely offended everybody. <laughs> 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 All of our international uh, people. Uh, yeah, Feliz Años. Yeah, there you go. Um, happy New Year. Happy New Year to everybody. 2017 is going to be awesome. Yeah, it is going to be awesome. Uh, so, Tell them why, Martini. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought you really knew. <laughs> nah, I mean, nah, hey, it's a new year. It's gonna be good, man. I mean, we had to we had to leave a lot of stuff. Are you on some new year new back. me shit? Uh, I'm never really on some new year new me stuff. It's just that, like, I remember I was speaking to a friend of mine the other day, and he was talking about what's your what's your word for 2017. And I was mm-hmm. like, what? And he's like. Because he's a teacher, it's like every year I choose a word instead of like a resolution. It's like I choose a word, and I stick to it, and then try to manifest it Ooh, through the I year. I like that. I was like, oh, that's that's pretty cool. And he's like, so what's your word? And I was like, I was like, growth. He's like, boom, I like it. <laughs> I was like, nice. all right, cool. So that's 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 my main thing. Twenty seventeen is all about growth e- everywhere, like exponentially. Like I guess I, I believe I said it the last uh, podcast too. Um, just I like growth. You know. I'm gonna go with happiness. Good. I I told him. I told him because he asked me. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out a word. I was like, "Yo, happy man," because like he he really you know teachers. Shout out to all the teachers out there. You know he really runs himself ragged. And I'm like, "Yo, I mean that's a part of the teachers like thing." But I was like, "Are you happy? <laughs> you know, right, like, right. are you happy? I'm not telling yourself to like get another job or something, but are you happy running yourself to the ground? <laughs> you know?" And he's like. Yeah, man, I'm happy. Like my my home life is great, you know, with my wife and kids, and I love teaching. So like I'm good. I'm happy. I was like, all Aww. right, cool. I'm like, oh, God. But um, but yeah, yeah. So my thing is growth. So yeah. Cool. Yeah. So um um oh oh yeah. Also, other than a happy new year, I want to give a shout out to uh, the way we see it podcast because what's up, guys? I was on their podcast the other uh, episode that they have. They oh, had nice. that their holiday episode. So I was on there. So please check them out. The way we see it, podcast on Podbean and uh, iTunes. So oh. they're on there. Yep, and they're yeah they're and they talk about all like you know pop culture things that affect the culture. So I remember uh, one episode they were talking about blended families. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were also talking about um, their recent. I think they're going to be their most recent episode is going to be talking about code switching. I don't know if you know what that is, where pretty much you. Uh, you speak a certain way when you're in front of a uh, authority oh, okay. or like a job interview or like, wh- or, and then, you know, you, you switch it up you and you're just people. cool. Yeah. <clears throat> with your peoples. So what they did was they took some clips from uh, the show insecure, mm-hmm. the show that you like. And they were talking about uh, Molly and Rashida. Rashida. Yeah. And they're talking about their dynamic and about how Molly's boss told Molly to go to talk to Rashida because right. you know she's a little like too too out there, right? Right. So right. she needs to calm down and you know bring down her, uh, I guess, blackness. Yeah, <laughs> that's know? pretty much what it was. <laughs> they were just like, um, she's just being, and she did speak to her about it like beforehand, before she was even spoken, like spoken to do, to speak to the other or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And she was like, you know, she's like, girl, they're fine with it. And she was just <laughs> like, mm, you can't act like that. Here, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so so it was a, it was a very interesting uh, topic. So mm-hmm. I mean, I wasn't on that episode, but uh, I was listening to it. So it was very good. Cool. Um, yeah. So and yeah. Since we're shouting folks out, um, April, our favorite listener. Yes, April, <laughs> <laughs> number one <laughs> fan. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Um, <laughs> April's blog is really awesome, and I'm so proud of her. Miss yeah. April speaks. Uh, yes. It's on Facebook. She's blogging, talking about some real deal stuff. And and yeah, the her last one. Yeah, uh, the the twenty seventeen. Are you one? ready for love? Yeah, I've been singing that in my head all day. Thanks, April. 
the yeah. Indie Irie song. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to sing it for you. I sound terrible. Why not? I, 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 I sang songs on no, you. No, I can't sing Indie Irie. <laughs> But um, I'm gonna make her sound like a man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it was that was a very good um, read. Very good read. I liked it a lot. So yeah, we're sharing that on our Facebook page. Um, I think we're following her too on our web page. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. So check her out. Mm-hmm. She's also on WordPress. Yes. Yeah. So um, what are we doing here? Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, you know, am I not good enough? And both aspects about it. And uh, this came up. Because let it out, Martin. <laughs> uh, yeah, th- this episode I guess is half about you know the people who are out there who we want to talk to and want to discuss about if you know if they feel not good enough, and also half half of the, the other half of this episode is about me. Mm. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. <laughs> 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 no, it's it's because like uh, I. Ever since, like, my teens, I've always felt that, you know, like, every time I, like, deal with women, I've always felt that, oh, am I not good enough because of some, some other, some reason, um, I've always, uh, faltered in whatever they wanted in, um, man or whatever, but I never really had, I guess, like, the proof or, or anything because other people wouldn't, they wouldn't believe me or it's like, oh, no, you'll find somebody, blah, 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 I was like, okay, fine, yeah, all right, okay, I'll find somebody, but look, look at what happened, like, why do people, like, oh, and people are like, no, you just need uh, more confidence and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I can get more confidence. But, like, look at what's happening. <laughs> like, the, like you don't understand. You, you're you not paying attention. Like, this is why I don't have the confidence that I have is because of things like this had happened. So let's just freaking get into it. So mm-hmm. one, um, so my 2017 started on a shitty note because <laughs> – um, <laughs> Like dur- uh, during uh, de- December 31st, you know, I was just chilling and um, Jennifer uh, put me up on something. And I was like, OK, like, well, like you know, what what is my uh, good friend and uh, business partner <laughs> want to discuss with me? And she's like, yo, check this out. And I'm like, all right, cool. So I see. So I'm like, oh, OK, it's a uh, yoga chicks. um. uh Instagram page. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, okay, mm, that's cool. <laughs> and then you know, so I don't I'm, know if you guys remember, but me and Heather do research. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I forgot which episode that was, but um, yeah, you get yeah, you guys do research. So I'm like, okay, so I'm like looking through it. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, She's, yoga chicks got a new man. Hmm. Mm. All right, that that's that's cool. So like, be, before I even go any further, me, like I, I forget what episode um that I could recall that uh, that said that like we broke up but and and we broke up I, I don't want to well yeah we broke up pretty much amicably but she broke it off and it was very abrupt and very curt you know she and it was over text and she was like look you know it's, it's just not working and stuff and like uh, you know like we did all that we can do and then that's it and and it's true I mean we we talked about it back and forth and we found out that we just really weren't um really compatible you know and um we were we were intellectually like compatible i guess but like there wasn't no like emotion or chemistry or whatever well, even though at the beginning there there very much was but she just said you know she lost interest and then that was it boom okay fine so she's got a new man you know and i'm and i'm looking at this i'm looking at this and i'm looking at her most recent pictures and i'm like okay <clears> he's there all right so i'm like oh wait hold on let me let me let me back up and let me see um how far this has gone you know so I'm, I'm going back i'm going I'm scrolling down and i see that like you know of course instagram gives you dates and stuff and i'm like huh that's interesting because uh, her and i we broke up uh november 16th because that was my last text uh with her and from what instagram is saying this, now this doesn't necessarily say that you know this is exactly when they met or whatever but like his first picture on her profile was the last week of November. So like in the thirties, whatever. Mm. I'm like, okay, so that's like two weeks after. Two weeks after me. And I'm like, okay. A- and she told me that, you know, she wasn't seeing anybody. So, I mean, that's not to say that she was seeing this guy at the same time as me. I don't think she was. But still, it was, it was very rapid. You know, um, especially since we were really feeling each other. And um, 
like uh, and like I told like Jennifer like the way that she was like really feeling me like every time like I would see each other I I told Jennifer that she would like jump up and down like a, a, a like a two year old got what they wanted for Christmas you know like she would be extremely happy and that's not to say that's not like um, tooting my own horn or putting you know patting myself on the back like she was really genuinely glad to see me every time we saw each other and I was too so to just like dead me and then like this new guy all of a sudden <clears> like <throat> appears I'm like the hell so um I'm like okay fine uh, well and you know he he was in like mad pictures too like four or five of them and I'm like what the fuck and I'm like okay I was like you know what that's cool she's with somebody all right fine so and then I was talking with somebody else about this and they're like well you know maybe she has a do you know if she has pictures of you during that time like during your time together I, I, me and i was like nah she she doesn't but then i mean i, I was like 90 percent sure and then i was like you know what let me let me check back just so i can you know just be doubly sure and 100 percent sure research so yeah exactly research so i scroll back to around the time where we see each other and i see and i see two pictures okay and, I, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I see two pictures, one that I took and one that she took. Um, so one picture was of when we went apple picking. I mean, well, both pictures had to do with the apple picking. One of them was, the, and if you remember, I forget what episode, but we talked about going apple picking, so we went. Mm-hmm. And I saw her picture was of the apple pie that we made. It was in the oven. And I was like, okay, I'm, okay, I'm not in that picture, but okay, that was of that time, fine. But then I see another picture on there that I took, and it's and it's my favorite picture of her, and it's her just walking, just you know, just just casually walking on the orchard, uh, about to go like pick some apples, <laughs> you know. And I'm like, and I love that picture just because it's just very natural. It's over her, you know, it looks just sweet, whatever. And, you know, I wasn't being callous, like trying to take a picture of her ass, whatever. It was like it was just it was a very nice picture that I took, and I liked it a lot. <clears throat> So I'm like, oh, cool! Like she she put that on her page, and they're like that's awesome because her her page is pretty much a like a business page, but like, uh, you know, I I saw that she had her family on there and whatever, so I was like, I guess it's business and personal. So like when I saw this guy on there, of course, you know, I felt kind of jealous. I was like, yo, where am I at? But of course, that picture that I took of her, um. I couldn't have been in it because I took the picture. So I wasn't like mad at that, but I was glad that the picture was on there. So I was like, okay, that's cool. That's sweet. So I look at the comment and the comment says, you know, on my way to class, the, on my way to class, the yoga. Are and, you though? And then she puts like the address about going to class, going to the building of where this class is. And I'm like, wait, what? I was like, huh? I don't, I don't get it. What do you, what are you talking about? Like going to class? I was like, this is the picture that I took of you when we were spending a day going to the apple orchard and picking apples. Like what the fuck? Like, and I got so like, I got so adamant and like sad and angry and pissed off about that whole thing. And I was like, what the hell? Like, how am I not? Why am I not a part of this chick's life? But yet freaking, um, captain planet over here, um, which is what I called him. <laughs> like he's like uh, he, they've been going out for like less than a month. We gone we went out for two months. They've gone out for like maybe a month, month and a half, and like they've gone to the city together. They've done uh, late night strolls. They're freaking eating their plant based food and all that stuff. And I'm like, hold up, what the hell is going on? Like I don't get it. Why am I not anywhere in these pictures? And like he's in like four or five of them. And like I really got pissed off about that, and I and and then of course my mind goes like, "Yo, what did I do? Am I not good enough for this person? What what's the deal? I don't get it." So now we have this episode. Yeah, now we, we have we this are. episode. <laughs> but yeah, but no, seriously, like and like <laughs> and Jennifer had to like calm me down. She's like, "It's okay," and blah blah. I was like, "No, it's not." Because okay. I don't want you to feel like that. I understand <laughs> why you feel like that, but I just didn't want you to feel like that. And like I said, there's probably something going on like in her head you know like i don't know like I, like seriously like i don't understand and like the bit the my my thing is like and jennifer knows this i put a lot of effort into my relationships you know what i'm saying so like i would definitely go and see her i would like every time we ate together 
I strictly ate vegan food with her. You know, um, I was thinking about uh, uh, having a vegan diet. It, you know, to to. I be. thought you were going to say I was eating vegan food with her, but I was thinking about them burgers. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> I was thinking about them burgers. No, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna do that and like be with her and have a vegan diet. I did yoga with her. I did, I did a lot of firsts with her. You know, all, all her. I accommodated to her. That's a growth for you, though. I didn't make her what. That's a growth for you. Oh, yeah. But I didn't make her do necessarily anything. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I don't necessarily think I put a, a, a stifle or, or a, 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 an asterisk on dating me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I did all that for her. And it's like, what the hell? And, I, you know, and I bought her gifts, too. And it's not even necessarily about the money. It's just that, like, yo, I bought her things to, like, show her that, like, yo, I'm feeling you. I'm digging you. You deserve this. You know? Granted, she did say that, like, she bought me, like, one thing, but, like, I never, like, received it because, like, it was near the end. And Mm -hmm. um, I was like, what the hell, man? But um, whatever. I mean, I don't want it. (laughs) Whatever it was. But, um, but yeah, and and, and all, and and Jennifer knows firsthand, like, my gifts are, like, tailor-made to to her. So, like, I, I I did the same thing. Like, I got her things that, like, she that she necessarily couldn't give to other people, you know, because they wouldn't get it. You know, and like, I'm I'm just saying that like I put, I put effort into the relationship, and like for me, do you think it'd be better for you if somebody told you like this is why we didn't work? Does that help you? Yeah, that would help me. But it's like, how do you like? My thing is how like after all that, all that effort that you see that I did, the time that we spent together, why would you change a picture that? meant a lot to me into a business opportunity Mm -hmm. that's my thing like you made it so cold it was like strictly cold you know like we were spending like our first time really like going out and we and and that day we spent the whole day with each other like Mm -hmm. we we went we went uh apple picking and like we did like we drove around we did some other things and then like we uh we went back to our house we made the apple pie and then we did yoga and then we like uh yeah, we like we made a fire and shit like that. Like it was really cool, um, mm-hmm. but like now, if I want to have them, like I have the memories of it because I I personally have my pictures. But her memory is like freaking going to class, you know. So it's like that's that's my beef with it. Like I don't like that I at hear all. You. So I mean, I don't like that like one bit. Like that really angers me. <laughs> You know, like whatever, like she's she's with like her new man now, freaking Captain Planet, because they both care about the Earth. But it's like, wow. Yeah. (laughs) Well, that and also because they have um, they have this picture where they're doing a similar pose with each other. And she put when our powers combine. And I know that's true. And I know that's from Captain Planet (laughs) when um, they would combine their uh, powers and create Captain Planet. Right. But anyway, yeah, man, I'm like so, I'm like, Arr, I'm so pissed off. And, oh, yeah, too. Oh, pff, of course, I completely forgot. The freaking, you know, and I and I respected her wishes because everybody knows, Jennifer knows, and the listener knows the, about the, the no touching clause, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I couldn't touch her, whatever, and which, I mean, I wasn't fine with it, but I respected her because I'm not going to freaking not, I'm not going to violate you, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's wrong. Freaking this dude is all up on her in his pic in, in their pictures, you know. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know, like, um, uh, not not hugging from behind, but like, he's like, he's get a little closer. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's definitely like they're like touching bodies, you know. Let's say that, you know. And I'm like, okay, like, what happened to the no touching clause? Like, it took me a while to freaking break that clause, but this guy. Like within le- definitely less than the time that we spent together, he's already good. Like and, and granted, I'm not saying that we should have stayed together and like me and her staying together would have worked or whatever. But I'm just saying, like, where is the acknowledgement? Where is the respect? You know, how, like, how can you say one at one point? Oh man, you're so great. We're we're so alike. To off the class. You know, it's like, I don't get get why you feel that way. But at the same time, I just want to tell you, like, to let it go. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, like, 
I mean, maybe she just wasn't. I don't know. I can't explain it to you. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you don't have something or you weren't good enough. It's just some people click better than others. And if like her like unsureness was about you eating meat and all that other stuff, then like that you could never really change that about yourself and you shouldn't have to for somebody, Mm -hmm. you know, so you should just be grateful that you met somebody who opened you up to different things and that, you know, now you get to keep it moving. Right. (laughs) Yeah, but that, but that was, but that was my big grievance. So, so I found, I found that out, um, New Year's Eve, going into New Year's Day, um, New Year's Night or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I was pissed about, I was pissed off about that. Oh yeah, and they also spent New Year's together, you know, and, and that was a big thing too. Like she wanted me to sleep over, but like she never gave me the um, like advance notice, you know. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of mad about that because like I don't want her to like hold that against me. Like oh, like you never. Like, you never want to sleep over? It's like, well, like, if you gave me notice, then I would. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't know. I, I just don't like I just don't like seeing people, somebody that I mess with, and their person being better than me. <laughs> you know? Like, that. Like that's the thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> I mean, that's not a thing. I, I'm saying that's my thing. <laughs> you know? Because I'm like, yo, like, I could have done that. Like, but you didn't ask for it or whatever. You're like, whatever. And, and, you're, and yes, you're right. Other people do click quicker or better than others i I, that's why i guess i i assume that um he's getting the love in her digital life and uh, what i got was two pictures that i wasn't even in you know but i was just like come on man like that's not cool like to just like wipe away uh what we had with each other because it's not like i did anything wrong like if i was a like an asshole or a dick i completely understand but for like complete this knowledge of of me of me and like my existence like that's not cool man like i was i was there with you man like yo come on like we took your freaking mom to the airport and stuff like that like like i was there i was there i matter you know so like and it sucks to see that uh, apparently i didn't (laughs) you know so but anyway but yeah but that the the aspect uh, the first aspect uh, of the first article is like you know when when the person makes you feel you're not worthy and this article is by thoughtcatalog.com, and the title is "Why You'll Never Be Enough for Him." And uh, I found this, uh, I found this interesting, which is cool though. Um, and it says, "It's not that you're, it's not that you're too heavy or too thin. It's not because you're too slutty or too proud or, or too much of a prude. It has nothing to do with the size of your breasts or your thighs or your stomach. It's not that you're too successful or not successful enough." You could spend your whole entire life asking yourself what you did wrong or what it was about that you wasn't good enough for him. What it was that other women had you were missing. You never find you'll never find the answer because there's nothing wrong with you. It's not that you aren't pretty enough or smart enough or confident enough. It's not your finances or your job or your friends. You are just as you are supposed to be. You are perfect even amongst all your imperfections. As long as you maintain a thirst for life, a desire to work hard and live truthfully, and the willpower to grow and to improve yourself and to try harder every day, you are just as you should be. Someone who truly loves you, someone who is truly right for you, will not force you to to turn inside yourself and search for what it is about you that is wrong, what it needs to be changed. A person who truly loves you will bring you outside yourself. They will bring you out of they will bring you out into the world. They will make you want more for yourself, more happiness, more knowledge, more adventure, more experiences. The list is endless. They will excite you and support you and inspire you to be better instead of causing you to become trapped inside your own head, wondering how you'll change yourself to make your to make them happy. When you found real love, you'll know it because you'll always be enough, regardless of your flaws and your insecurities and your vulnerabilities. You will be enough for them always, and they will be enough for you. Nice. <laughs> I think. <laughs> what do you mean you think? <laughs> I don't know. I like it. <laughs> um, and um, I, I also saw, well, not, not I also saw, you sent me this article uh, last night. No, no, no. Yeah, last night um, about uh, Married at First Sight. Do you want to talk about it or... Um, I guess it was like married at first sight in like Europe, Australia, Australia. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and she basically said that like, um, 
not that it like that it was kind of like a sham. Mm-hmm. The Married at First Day is kind of like not all that we see it to be on TV, mm-hmm. and that like they kind of like made them like re kiss or re hold hands or like they had to like well, she walked down the aisle like a bunch of times. Four it wasn't times. just like that one time and like that was, that part was kind of like sad but obvious to me. Um, yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, uh, and basically she said that, like that. and after all that. Like, it still didn't work. And, like, she kind of left the experience feeling, like, worse than... She, I have hiccups now. Worse than she did <laughs> right. when she started. Yeah. Because she was, like, looking for love and looking for the one, and that's why she agreed to do it. And then when she did it, it was, like, so, like, manufactured that, like, it didn't even really work. And then she, like, left there thinking, like, she wasn't good enough to make it work. and But then she kind of, like... The guy um, was even in the process. Yeah, he was just like some dude they met at a coffee shop and was like, hey, do you want to do this right quick? And he was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. So she was like, like what the f- <laughs> so I don't know if that's like just the Australian like pro- like production of it. I mean, the the worst from the U.S. was the USA one was uh, season two when they didn't vet the guys. Yeah. But I think they still wanted to do the experiment. They just didn't vet the guys. You yeah, know? So yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. like, Ugh, but go on. But um, so basically, she just ended up kind of saying that she she knows what's like really good. Like she knows that there's more fish in the sea, and that you know, obviously, she's not gonna get them to a TV show this time. Right, and um, I I the 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 bottom half of her uh, article was very good, and it says um, well, it's it's um, the article is uh, Simone wants you to. F- Simone wants you to know the truth about Married at First Sight and her marriage to Xavier. And the article, uh, the website is from mamamia.com.au. And the all the way to the all the way third of the bottom, she says, never stay in a relationship if you feel the need to convince the person to be with you. You should never have to persuade someone that you are worthy of their time. Never stay in a relationship if you begin to question your self-worth. You should never feel like you're not good enough. Never stay in a relationship merely because you can't handle the thought of having to wait around for the real deal. You should never feel the need to wonder, what if? Let me end on this note. This is for you, Jennifer. Mm-hmm. In the words of Bianca's dad in 10 Things I Hate About oh, You, yeah. <laughs> I've got news for you. I'm down. I've got the 411 and you are not going out and getting jiggy with <laughs> some boy. I don't care how dope his ride is. Dump his arse, get back to reality, and move on. There's plenty more washboard abs in the sea. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, so reading re- reading both of those, um, even though they were uh, geared towards women, um, <laughs> I I felt I felt a lot uh, of uh, similarities with that stuff. You mm-hmm. know, and it's you know, it's true. Like and and like you said, you know, I gotta like move on and like not think so hard and like yeah. Uh, again, like I said, like. I know we weren't like compatible, so I should just like let that go. But also at the same time, it, like what, I, what, in my opinion, what I feel is like what she did was kind of dirty, mm-hmm. and I don't think I deserve that. Like I was like, I don't know, like you know, like I, I don't know. I don't know. I get why you feel that way, but like I mean, at the same time, she did kind of like tell you. I'm playing devil's advocate completely. No, absolutely. She did kind of like tell you like this isn't gonna work, you know. Um and like she didn't like kind of like just disappear off the face of the map she kind of just like let you know where she was at i mean and she kind of explained why whether or not you like the reasons Mm -hmm. and then like i mean you don't know if she was still like on a dating site or anything like that and actually i do but good (laughs) was she (laughs) yeah okay so you could but you could have been too no i was i know that's that's why it's not i know that's not your style but you could have been too i mean Mm -hmm. i think like when me and my boyfriend started dating like it got to a point like where I knew I really liked him, and I was like, all right, I gotta shut this shit down, because I know how it is, like, being a female on a dating site. Guys are like, hi, hi, hi. And then, like, I didn't need any distractions, so I just shut it down. And then, yeah. like, I kind of told him, like, all right, you need to shut your shit down. Like, <laughs> <laughs> enough. Um, and he wasn't enough. necessarily even using it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, like, you know, it was what it was. But, like, you know, so, so maybe she was still on it because she wasn't sure, but, like, I don't know. She told you everything that you need to know, and whether she found somebody in a week or a month or whatever it was, like that person she clicked with, you know, like mm-hmm. you can meet somebody tomorrow and they can be like, listen, I just kind of like was dating somebody. It didn't work out like, you know, blah, blah, blah. I think the thing is that you guys like thought you liked each other so much in the beginning that like 
you guys did like pretty grandiose things with each other. Mm-hmm. Like you taking her to go to the airport with her mom. That's like kind of a big deal. And like meeting all the friends and stuff like that. That's kind of like a big deal. But I mean, you were kind of like at that point. I just kind of feel like before you guys made those grandiose gestures, she should have given you more of like a heads up of what was going on. But I mean. But 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 Anything like she happen. exists. She exists. You know what I'm saying? On my end, she exists. Mm-hmm. I don't on hers. Like that's like I don't know. Like some people are just easier to like shut shit down. You know what I mean? Right. Some people can just kind of walk away from things and yeah. just not do it. I don't know. Mm-hmm. No, no, I got and you. Some people, because and, and, for some people, you have to. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you can't hold on. Like I have a hard time like detaching from people. Yeah. But like sometimes you have to. Like restraining water boy. Like. Even though he did terrible, terrible things, like, he was my friend, and, like, we were very close, relationship or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but, like, we were close, and, like, I've known him my whole life, so, like, there was always a part of me that felt, like, really bad, like, I know he has issues, and I should have just been more kind about it, but, like, I really just had to detach from him. No, right, yeah. Because, and not that you guys have those serious, same kind of issues, but maybe, like, for you, she had to detach, because now, look at you have, like... Uh, religious girl here like hollering at you to hang out and you're like what the fuck do you want from me that's another thing I didn't even bring that up thank you <laughs> you know what I'm saying so like maybe she just had to do that mm-hmm. and you don't like it and nobody likes it but anything can happen you can meet somebody tomorrow and like she could have just got out of something but you could be the one for her right so yeah, so yeah really quick by the time you hear this episode I would have gone out on a friend date with religious girl mm-hmm. alright so I <laughs> what was that? For? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, nah, the way you just did that was funny. But uh, yeah, so of course we we I've talked about her uh, multiple times. You know, we didn't work out because of like religion and and stuff like that. And she has found a guy, you know, again that matches that matches her and all mm-hmm. that stuff. And um, so we were just gonna you know uh, stay as friends and uh, oh uh, but. The thing that kind of bothers me is because it's like when we when we first when we first went out, like literally our our, our first date, she says like, look, you know, I, you know, I just got out of a relationship, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. And she was seeing other people. I was like, all right, that's cool, whatever. I understand. And she was like, but regardless, you know, like I like really like you and I want you to stay in my life forever. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That, forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cardi B forever. You know forever. what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, that is a big thing. Like, talk about a first impression. Right. You know, that's a huge thing to say. And I don't and I don't take that term lightly. Right, right. You know, so okay, so you know, again, we, we chilled out, whatever. We chilled out for a month until like it was it was over and then uh, I find out that, you know, she her new her new man put up yay we're on we're, we're in a relationship thing on facebook and and no i'm i didn't stalk her we're we're friends on facebook and mm-hmm. the and the relationship the relation the relationship started the day after she met me Weird. So, yeah so i'm just like what like this doesn't make any sense i don't get it so like we just stayed like friends but like you know like facebook friends like what like right, right. i would send her memes or whatever and she would send me some things and like boom I was fine with that. I was like, all right, cool. You know, whatever. Yeah, you know, stay in my life forever. Like, bullshit. All right, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, fine. That's it. But then, like, she, she like, texted me the other day. Oh, no, no, no. I texted her to say, like, happy holidays because this was around Christmas. I was like, happy holidays, whatever. She's like, oh, my God, that's so weird. I was just thinking about you. And I was like, okay. And she's like, <laughs> she's like oh, my God, I want to hang out with you. Like, on, on, right. on text, like, 15 U's. And I'm like the fuck i was like why is she so amped up you know like i was like oh okay well let's do it like post holidays because you know this time of year gets crazy and she's like all right no problem whatever and then you know i i set things up like around like maybe a couple days ago i set things up like all right we're gonna meet here and we'll do this and we'll do that she's like all right cool like no problem and she's like super amped up to see me and i'm like why you know like other people are like, well, maybe she just like wants to be friends. And I was like, that's cool. Like, I mean, I'll be friends with her, but like to meet, I don't right. get. You know, like we could be friends online. Like, I don't understand why why I need to meet you. To, like, what are we gonna do in person? She needs to get her teeny fix, yo. Uh, oh, she had her chance. <laughs> you know, what I'm I don't know, man. And now, now she now she has her man. Go chill with your man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. Because like whatever. Because like my thing is, if we're meeting, like whatever we're gonna, whatever her and I are going to do, she can do ten times more with her man 
who who obviously she has more of a connection with because she left me for him. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, not like that. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, okay. um, but yeah, so like what? I, I don't get it. So like, I mean. Maybe some things are just not for you to get. Do you ever think about that? No, everything is solvable. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, Maybe it's not. No, I sh- I shouldn't say everything is solvable. No. I mean everything everything has a reason. That that's what I mean. And I don't know this reason. Cuz maybe there's something in the works for you. What? what? I don't know. Just roll with it. <laughs> Just roll. I mean, obviously I'm I'm going to. I already have. <laughs> so I mean, so that's all you can do is just roll with it and that's it yeah so i mean let's let's see what uh this thing is but it's just like, i don't know it's just one thing after the other man like every uh, like i don't know every, everybody wants me but they don't want me so it's like it's it's weird but um the second aspect about this topic is when you think you're not worthy of the person that you're dating yeah i'm only gonna read a little bit of this because it, it is pretty depressing <laughs> and um it'll set and it's from thoughtcatalog.com and the title is I'll never be good enough for you. Ooh. So it says, if I'm being honest, I knew we wouldn't work out. I really wanted us to. I really wanted us to be right for each other. I wanted to think we were a match and even pair, equal partners. But I knew that wasn't the truth. Throughout the entire relationship, I kept coming back to one thought. I will never be good enough for you. You didn't do anything to make me feel this way. It's something... I just knew in my bones. Come on, look at who, look at who, look at who we are in an in an objective way. I will never be good enough for someone as wonderful as you. You are good. You are a good person who wants to do good things. You're smart. You're kind. You're funny. Your body and your mind are practically made of sunshine. I will never be the person you want. Not really. I can be a shadow of that person, striving really hard to actually get there. But I would. Ne- but I never will. There will always be something missing or some flaw or something that doesn't quite feel right. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Um, I want to make myself better. I want to be I want to be worthy of you. I just don't know where to start. How can I ever grow into the person who deserves you? That person, if they aren't me, will be amazing. They'll speak five languages and save babies in Africa and run marathons. They'll get all your all of your jokes and know all of your movie references. They'll be good looking. But for now, I will try. I will try my best to be worthy because I want to be good enough for you. Mm. Damn. This is depressing. It is. Are we at the meme of the day? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I want to end this episode right now. But um, no, but like, uh, have you ever felt that way? Yeah, I have. But like, it goes away. Mm-hmm. I don't let it linger. I don't let it eat at me. Mm-hmm. Well, not anymore. No, I don't let it. I mean... It's easy. It's easy to just. It's easier to move on than to let it attack you. Right. You don't think it is, but it is. Mm -hmm. You just gotta like keep putting positive affirmations in your head. Right. And just being like, I can do better. Somebody doesn't want you. They don't want you, and it sucks. But you, it's really just a blessing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You have to look at it like that. Yeah. Not everybody's for you. So. Yeah. No, you're right. Like my meme says. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jennifer, you, read the meme of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have anything else? No, I, I do, but go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. My stomach was growling, so I was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. One one thing while this uh, thing is uh, loading up, I, I find I find it interesting that of all the articles that I've been finding, they're all geared towards women. And it was very hard to find one that's geared towards a man no shit sherlock but why is why is it no shit sherlock because guys don't talk about their feelings so not a lot of guys are going to sit there and say i felt unloved blah 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 blah. yeah but at the same time i feel that there is a angle where guys are the ones that are supposed to change and not the woman the woman is supposed to you know, the woman is supposed to be like, take me as I am or don't take me at all. Mm-hmm. And like the guy, like, for instance, there was one uh, I hate and I hate this freaking uh, thing. Uh, There's um quote where it says a woman can't change because she loves him. A man changes himself because he loves her. I've heard that. before. And everyone loves that. Oh, my God, it's so true. And it's like, hold up. And me, I get mad. I'm like, why the guy got to change? 
It's like, mm-hmm. why does it need? Why does there need to be change at all? <laughs> you know, like, mm-hmm. you know, like if you know, just like we've been saying this whole podcast, if we aren't compatible, then let's break up. You know, right, as right. opposed to I got to change to make you happy. And I found that very interesting. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So I I don't, I don't like, and I guess that's why I'll take the L and like, um. You got what, to whatever be the pansy. Oh and, God! No, no, no! Well, of course. Look, you you hear all those guys on the other side of this? <laughs> you know, they're all like, "Yo, this guy's mad whack, yo. He's mad gay. Yo, talking about all these freaking feelings and shit. Yo, why are you making me listen to this, Barbara? <laughs> you know, what I'm who the fuck is Barbara? His 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 girl. <laughs> okay. You know, no, because like, and and that's why that's why I like this podcast because I have an outlet to be myself. Cool. You know, I have I have absolutely no problem sharing my emotions with people good that's good because you're a pisces <laughs> but still though but 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 also but also but that but me sharing my stuff doesn't make me any less of a man you know um I'm, I'm whatever i'm just sharing my shit like why can't i do that um but yeah so it says uh oh oh you'll like this this is from tiny i like them <laughs> simple wisdom for complex lives and it says uh, seven things to remember when you think you're not good enough. Number one is the people you compare yourself to compare themselves to other people too. Mm. Number two, your mind can be a very convincing liar. <laughs> Number three, there is more right with you than wrong with you. Chabu. Number four, you need love the most when you feel you deserve it the least. Okay. Number five, <laughs> Number five. you have to fully accept and make peace with the now before you can reach and feel satisfied with the later. Mm-hmm. Number, I feel like you're pandering me now. <laughs> number, <I'm not>. si- <laughs> number six, <laughs> focus on progress rather than perfection and on how far you've come rather than how far you have left to go. I like that one. That's a good one. Number seven, this is a good one too. Uh, you can't hate your way into loving yourself. Mm. Okay. That's a good one. All right. Meme of the day. Hit me. You cannot be good enough for everybody, but you will always be the best for the one who deserves you. Know your power. I like that. I like it too. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So, I mean, I hope you got something out of <laughs> out of this uh, podcast. I I because I know not alone. What? Just that you are not alone. Yeah, exactly. Like, I hope you got something, whether, I don't know, you're, like, screaming at the uh, at your iPod or, or computer or, or your phone, whatever you're listening to, like, oh, Martini's an idiot or whatever. Or, like, yo, I feel you, Martini. Yo, yo, this bitch did this to me last week or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or, like, yo, Jennifer, yo, I feel you, man. I just filled out a restraining order, too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Or whatever. No, I, I, whatever. I hope you got some something out of it. Whatever aspect you, you get it mm-hmm. from, you know. Like I, I, I really hope that everybody got something out of it because it's true. Because like, like I said before, and and you know, and I am, and I am letting it go. Like by the t- again, by the time you, by the time you hear this, there will be an accompanying blog along with this too. So it goes more in depth from the two stories that I've been telling you. Uh, I mean. And I and I would love for you guys to read it and also comment on it. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, it was just it was just effed up. I don't know, <laughs> but but you'll be okay. Yes, I, I will be okay. Yeah, I'm not going to Yay. let this uh, destroy my 2017 already. You know, so yeah. Remember, my word for the year is growth. So that that's what's gonna happen. Um, yeah. I need more words. <laughs> I, need, I need more words. Yeah, what well, yeah, what is your what is your word for 2017? My word should be patience, but Ooh, yes. That's your <laughs> word. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> I like that. There it is. There it is. Your word for 2017 no. is patience. Oh, no. that's that's perfect. I love that. Oh god. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chapaule. But uh yes, I love it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. So yeah. So so people out there, have you ever felt that you're not good enough? Uh, well, have you ever felt that the person that you're seeing makes you feel that you're not good enough, or do you feel 
that you're that you're already not good enough like oh i don't know why i'm with this person this person is so perfect i'm never gonna live up to their standards and stuff like that like have you ever felt that please write to us bedlovebeyond at gmail.com or you can go to our website and look at our accompanying articles that i've read and even more articles that I, that i haven't had time to share which is www.bedlovebeyond.com you can if you don't want to email us you can definitely give us a call or text us at 201-862-8-BED that is 201-862-8233 you can um also talk to talk about this show with our other fans on our facebook page which is facebook.com slash beloved beyond and you can follow us on all social media platforms at beloved beyond on instagram twitter periscope and youtube And before we go, we just want to let you know that again, this this episode uh, happened at a great time because it was it was time to leave all those uh, 2016 things away and move on to 2017. Bye, hoes. (laughs) And uh, our next episode is our one year anniversary. Oh Jesus! So so yeah, we're we're still trying to um, figure out what we're actually going to do for that one year anniversary. But as soon as we figure it out. We're going to hit you up on Twitter and our Facebook and let you know. But I believe some live component will be attached to it. So Mm. we'll definitely tell you when you can tune in and what you can tune in on so you can watch us live for the first time. Well, no, not for the first time because we've been on Periscope. But still, uh, we'll just say for the first time because it sounds cool. So (laughs) for the first time, and we'll definitely want you to to watch us and, and, you know, give it you know hit us up with any questions or anything like that we really want to be a we really want this to be a community uh podcast you know and to commemorate our one year it'll, it'll, it'll still be a show we'll still have a topic but definitely half of it is going to be participation you know internet participation and fan participation and we want to shout you out guys out too for rocking with us you know what i mean we really appreciate you guys so remember one year anniversary next episode all right so we will see you guys then peace